If you've ever experienced a 3D movie or film complete with 3D glasses, you'll remember how realistic things seem, almost as though you could reach out and touch them. Now graduate students at the University of Western Ontario's Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry are creating that realistic 3D experience with anatomy. It's allowing students to learn more about anatomy without using a scalpel. I got a first-hand look at this amazing technology at Western in tonight's sixth and final installment of our series on graduate medical research. This is a 3D journey deep inside the human body, and these graduate students are using technology to make it possible. Using x-rays, master's student Jennifer Buckner is building a full 3D model of the heart. Basically we scan either MRIs or CT scans, so more complicated x-rays into the computer, and then I use a simple program, almost like paint, where I highlight what I want to keep and then they stack together to form a 3D reconstruction. If we zoom in, we can get right in close to the vessels in the chambers, and then we can zoom back out to have a full view of what we're looking at. She is slowly stacking together the slices from the x-rays, and this is what her project looks like in the early stages. Okay, so what we're looking at in the 3D reconstruction is the left ventricle here, this large chamber, one of the four chambers of the heart, and then in red leaving that chamber is the aorta. I believe in my readings across the web that we are the very first in the world to be doing something like this. I know Calgary has a new body and they're using it more for, um, it almost seems like a business endeavor, whereas here we're strictly into the scholarship of education. Wilson says the idea is to eventually use these 3D models to teach anatomy instead of having to use cadavers or perform dissections. The world's changing and the modern student is changing and the way we teach has to change along with it. Um, the new curricula has cut down on lab time so, so very much and we're wondering if uh, we can create this new adjunct with three-dimensional anatomy so that our students can still get a unique and very vivid experience without necessarily having to always be in the lab for uh, 60 hours a, a term. Well, I think it would really help anatomy students, especially undergrads, grasp the concept of the heart and its relationships with other structures. Mm -hmm. So because they, can't always, they don't always have the opportunity to dissect the heart, having this model in the classroom with them will give them an idea of what the heart is all about.